Hi, I'm Jason Keenis, Research Agronomist for 360 Yield Center. And today we're out here at the Proving Grounds going to focus on pulling nitrate samples consistently and correctly. We're also going to transition into showing you how to mix nitrate samples as well as to get a good valid sample. Before we start pulling any samples today, we want to explain why we are using the methodology we are to pull these nitrate samples. Depending on your nitrogen application, you may have strips of nitrogen or other nutrients within your row, two inches from the row, or even sporadically throughout the corn rows. And this is why it is important to gauge where you need to pull your samples. How you pull your cores is dependent on how you run your nitrogen applications. For instance, here in the proving grounds, we did ammonium sulfate in the fall, followed by a weed and feed application, and also two by two nitrogen with the planter. So in this instance, when I'm pulling cores, I wanna make sure that I'm not always hitting in the hot spot in the two by two right next to the plant and also the dead zone here in the middle of the row. So when I pull cores in this instance, I'm going to start from one row to the other, pulling about every two to four inches. In this particular instance, we want to start from one row to the other, pulling every two to four inches. So right here is right where our two by two ran, and we had about 30 pounds of nitrogen in there. So with this stage of corn, we're still going to have a pretty hot band right next to the row. So obviously we don't want to pull all of our cores from here, and we also don't want to pull all of our cores from the middle of the row where our nitrate samples will be pretty low. So we want to get, get a good consistent layout of where we're pulling our cores, and that's going to be the sample that we end up with. All right, so the first, the first core we're going to pull will be about 20 inches from this corn row. And we want to go down about 12 inches for that first core. A lot of times when guys pull nitrate samples, they'll also get a 24 inch core. So in that case, we want to keep this hole valid and go straight down in that same hole to get your 24 inch core. At this stage in the corn's life, a lot of the roots will be mostly pulling nitrates from that 12 inch. But as you can see from an earlier uh, photos of our proving grounds, we do have taller corn out there that will be accessing nitrogen at 24 inches or more. So I'm going to continue to pull my cores within this row until I get into that two by two band, the in furrow application, and then also on the other side of the row. That will give me a good consistent sample of what we're looking for out here for our nitrates. A lot of times we're looking from about eight to 10 cores per sample. And the more samples that you can get from a zone is only going to give you a greater data set to make your prediction or model your nitrogen after. Now that we have our first sample in the bucket, it's important to remember that that's not the only sample that we want to take from this field. We want to be pulling cores from multiple management zones as well as multiple soil types. Once we pull all our cores, you may notice that we have a bunch of carrot sticks in our bucket. That's going to make it hard for our nitrate sample, the 360 soil, soil scan, hard to access all the nitrates. So what we want to do is use a tool to mix the soil. Um, you can use something as simple as the handle of your probe. Some guys may use a blender or other devices like that. But the biggest thing is making everything consistent and easy for the soil scan to get a good reading. In closing, remember, the more cores that you can pull out in your field, the bigger the data set you will have and the more accurate your nitrogen modeling will be for the year. For this and any more questions about the 360 Yield Center, visit www.360yieldcenter.com. Thank you.